everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23 I am doing, um, this is a spread for, I'm going to go each individual sign. This is just about love and romance. Are they going to call? Are they thinking about you? You guys are more than welcome to timestamp. I'm going to try to cram all of the signs in one video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try. Um, there may be a part two to this. You know how it goes. I might have interruptions. There might be issues with children. Yep, you know. Um, no, no, can't. Oh, is she ever going to have her babies? This is getting crazy. All right, so this is for the collective. This is um, this is timeless, so this will work anytime anybody's watching. You, This will resonate for, for many of you whenever you decide to watch this video. So I'm going to start with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. As far as love and romance goes, are they thinking anything about Pisces? Are they going to call Pisces? What's going to happen? What's going to happen here? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay, you got the Queen of Swords. The Four of Cups. Somebody feels lonely without you or you feel lonely without them. Somebody's avoiding a call. Maybe somebody wants to call you, but they're but they don't but they're scared to. Um, could be a Scorpio involved, or because somebody knows the truth, that's why they're afraid to contact. You are heavily on someone's mind, but they're replaying how things went, um, what they could have said, how they could have done it better. They weren't in the right mind at the time, or when you guys were dealing with each other, maybe they had their head in the clouds. Um, you could have been very jealous or they could have been very jealous. There could have been somebody that was maybe a user, whether this was a user of money, user of your time, user of your body, there was a user. They are thinking about you and they are regretting all of this. Pisces, this could have been you doing this or cross watchers. It could be vice versa. I do feel like, um, some of you are by yourselves, but some people view you as lonely, but you're happy. I feel like, um, so this doesn't necessarily have to be exes. This could be what's upcoming as well. I feel like for some of you, people view you as lonely and like you'll take anybody. Like you just don't have anybody. You'll just take anybody. Maybe some of you are single, no kids. Maybe some of you are single with kids. Maybe some of you are, you know, kind of just dating around. I feel like you guys aren't lonely. You're just like, you're comfortable. You're, you're secure in, in the situations that you're in whether that be many or whether that be none. Um, so I feel like somebody may come along, come skipping along to try to be like, well, you don't have anybody anyway, so you might as well take me, even though like, you know, I'm definitely <laughs> nothing anybody would want, but here, I'm here, present. <laughs> I lost my coffee. I had a cup of coffee and I lost it. Um, weird. Okay. <laughs> I just made it so I could sit down and do these readings. Okay, but anyway. Um, so I feel like also um, somebody may be trying to like, there's an illusion here that you're easy or an illusion here that you'll just take anybody, that all anybody has to do is wink at you or blow you a kiss or flash their, you know, whatevers. And, uh, and you'll just be like, okay. 
Um, but you're not doing that. I do feel like some of you, when it comes to love and romance, right now you just, it's like, there's people coming towards you, but it's like, uh, it's, I just don't feel it. I don't, I just don't, like, I'll know it when I see it. I'll, I'll know it when I, you know, I'll just know when I know. So now let's go to Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Timeless love reading. What can they expect? Is someone going to call? Is anybody thinking about them? Are they going to meet anybody? What's going on? For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. This is probably going to be a long video, so I am going to split it into two. The Judgment. Reflecting. Yep, Judgment and the Six of Cups. The Devil. The Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. <sighs> Somebody feels like they're getting their karma for whatever they did to you. This could have been six years ago. This could have been 20 years ago. Wherever somebody who dealt with you in the past was, they are terrified. They're like, oh, this is, they're thinking, for some reason, every time something bad happens, they get an image of your face in their head. They, they're linking it back to you. For some of you, they think you're doing black magic. For others of you, they think that it's their karma for the way that they treated you. So just know that there's a few people out there, quite a few people out there that are receiving karma for the way that they tr treated you, betrayed you. If somebody was responsible for you losing a job, if a coworker or a boss sabotaged you to where you had no job, they're getting their karma. Um, now let's talk about something else. So I also see here, there is there are people that are trying to come back from the past with the judgment card. The energy I get is this person truly sees the light now. They see how good you were to them. You were really good to them. They see that now. At the time, they're like, ah. Anybody will do that for me. Anybody will do this. Anybody will do that. No, not just anybody will do that. No, most people won't do a damn thing. So I think they're realizing that, yeah, um, you didn't have to be as kind as you were. You didn't have to do any of that. Also with the Eight of Pentacles here, the Ten of Swords, and then the Page of Cups, there will be somebody coming to you saying that they've lost a job. This is a romantic situation, saying that they've lost a job or they need assistance. Maybe some of you try to... You try to help them to get a job or you put in a good word for them and they may have made you look bad, whoever this romantic partner is. Also, for some of you, unfortunately, maybe you met somebody through the workplace and um, their spouse, their, their husband, their wife, their boyfriend, their girlfriend found out that it was an online or not an online, but like a, a, a workplace romance and whoever the husband or wife is, they're leaving them, the boyfriend or girlfriend, they're leaving them now. So I feel like the person that you were dealing, this could be online because I'm hearing online in my head. So this is, this could have, be happening right this minute or this could be upcoming. I feel like they feel like you're responsible for the demise of their relationship. They're not exactly taking responsibility. You're the single one. They were not or vice versa. So I think it's the person who's married. It's their, they did wrong. Um, if you didn't know how, like, why, why is it? Why would you get the fingers pointed at you? But anyway, so I do feel like there could be some messiness coming up. But ultimately, there is somebody from the past who did mess up, who's truly, truly sorry. And I think they're going to make it up to you. And I think you guys are going to work it out. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I'm not really seeing fire here. All right, my um, my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. So now let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the collective. Love and romance. Are they going to call? Are they thinking about you? What's going to happen? Anybody new coming for Taurus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Timeless reading. Timeless. That means at any time. Oh, got the Hierophant. Could be a fellow Taurus or you. Somebody's on the defense. Somebody's defensive. Somebody's defensive with their words. Somebody's got a somebody's got a uh, smart mouth. Let me see. 
Somebody's fearful of what somebody's going to announce, some bad news. Fearful of, a, of an announcement. Maybe somebody's, uh, somebody's announcing a divorce. Somebody's announcing a breakup. Somebody's announcing something. Okay, card just fell. We got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, some of you could be afraid of a fellow, um, fellow Earth sign or a fellow Earth sign's afraid of what you may say. It could possibly mess up a fragile relationship that you already have with a fire sign, with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, there could be trouble coming. Trouble coming from a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that would like to cause trouble for you, Taurus. Um, it's, a, it's also, okay, I'm also getting something else with this. It may be better for you guys to not contact someone. Because if you contact this person, it may, it may, um, it may open the can of worms again, is what I'm, um, it may, so if something, if something was like, if there was a big explosion of drama in the recent past, and now things have calmed down, the universe is strongly suggesting that you don't reopen that drama. So if you had a side chick, a side dude, uh, a lover on the side, and you're married or in a relationship and you know things somebody walked away you know you're trying to get everything back on track now you would now you involve the third party again i don't think the third party is going to just be like oh yeah it, i'll just i'll just fall back like i did the last time no 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 no. they're going to be collecting information to try to take you down so be careful taurus now taurus there's more more to this Okay, so I'm also seeing here that for some of you, there is somebody who would like to propose to you, but there's a reason why they can't. It might be because they fear their health, they have a health issue. It might be because they don't have a job right now. It might be because they, you know, they've done you wrong in the past and they think you're gonna tell them no. Maybe they need to prove something to you, Taurus. Either way, somebody feels like they can't, they want to, they want to snap their fingers and do it, but they feel like they can't. Also, this could be somebody lying to someone and saying, I want to marry you. I want to be with you forever, but I just can't right now, or I just don't have the money, or I just want to wait for a big wedding. I want to do it the right way. They're, they're stalling. So there could be somebody stalling, somebody who actually does want a big wedding and does want these nice things, does want to have a real celebration, but they don't have the money. So there's several reasons why somebody's stalling Taurus in love and romance. If you guys were hoping to hear from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, it looks like you will not. Also, some of you may have trouble seeing that there could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that's doing very, very well that you might, might think is bad. Maybe this person is negative. Maybe this person is a horrible person, but yet they keep seeming to get everything that they want. And you guys just don't understand that. That could be troubling. So you probably don't want to look on their social media because you might see them celebrating. Um, if, this, if this is a bad person who's done you wrong, I mean, nobody wants to see somebody who's hurt them, you know, because there's karma. It's like, okay, where's the karma? Why would, why, why did they just win the lottery if, the, if all they do is bad things to people? So this could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, or it could be somebody else with this energy of the, of the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now let's move on to Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the Collective. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be, I'm going to cut this off at Leo. I'm going to do Leo. And then um, the next video is going to be Virgo. Um, Virgo, Libra. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. That's going to be part two. So right now I'm going to do Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the Collective in Love and Romance. Are they going to call? Are they thinking about you? Are they coming back? Are you meeting someone new? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the Collective, Part 1. Okay, Eight of Swords. Somebody's keeping tabs on you. They're very upset with what they're seeing. Yeah, some of you found the one. Some of you either found the one or you expect to meet the one. Somebody, somebody knows this. Justice, you're, you're, getting, you're getting the scales are being balanced. You're getting what you deserve. You deserve something good. Um... Also, I do see that there's an ex that is keeping tabs on you, hoping to cause trouble for you. Maybe some of you moved into a new home. Some of you have a new life and somebody's trying to ruin it for you. Maybe you guys have a new relationship. Hmm. Somebody's house is a shambles, I'm hearing. Some, your house is a shambles. 
shambles. Could mean literally, could mean emotionally, could mean, you know, mental, mentally. Let's see the fool. Okay, some of you, yeah, you're riding off into the sunset. You're, you're moving forward. I feel like for some of you, maybe the house of cards that crumbled was maybe in, when you were with an ex. Maybe you were with an ex and that's how you lived. Or maybe that's how you were mentally. But now they're seeing you're stable. This is mental instability. This is mental stability. So maybe some of you were mentally unstable with someone or someone was causing you to feel... Be careful, baby. Don't spill that everywhere, please. Careful, my baby. All right. Um, but now things are balanced. Somebody's balanced. Maybe somebody got on medication. Something's balanced now. I do see that there is... Um, there is a Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo from the past that's going to try to reach out to you. I do see a Libra wants to set the record straight and just tell you the truth. I do see that there's the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, they are, they're wanting to return to you as well. Two of Cups, I feel like they want to return to you because there's a Leo involved. They want to return to you um, because they enjoyed the SEX. Um, it, it was their, it was the a wish fulfillment. It was everything. It was like everything that they ever wanted, but they, they chose to, to look up elsewhere. They got what they wanted. They chose to look elsewhere. And now they want to come back. I also see that it would be in some of your best um, interest if you did join a dating site or you did try to go online to find someone because the world card and the fool card so that you can start fresh unless you guys want to stay in the same cesspool of the exes. It's up to you, but um, you might want to try to start fresh, Gemini, because it looks like the, the universe is opening up the doors to new romance. All right, so now let's do Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the collective in love and romance. Who's going to be calling? Who's coming back? Who wants what? What's going on as of July or I mean, for the collective right now moving forward? Time. This is a timeless reading. Five of Swords. Suffering a loss. Let me see who. Oh. A Scorpio, maybe? Let me see. Scorpio, they can't come back? They, you won't let them come back? They suffered a loss? They have anxiety about money? For the first time, somebody's on their own and nobody's helping. Maxie, please don't do that. For the first time, somebody's on their own. Yep, they have no money. This could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This could be a... Oh, this could be a uh, Scorpio. Or a Leo. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's shut out. Some some of you have like, you guys aren't taking the calls. You're not taking the messages. You don't want to hear the sob stories. You don't want to hear the excuses. It's like either you're here or not. You're in or out. I don't want to hear what happened in between. I don't want to hear it. Um, let me see what else. I finally got my coffee. It's cold, but it's still coffee. Okay. All right, so um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I made a cup of coffee when I first started the video, but I left it on the counter in the kitchen, and I, um, <laughs> I, was, looking for, I was looking for it. But now, five, what, five readings in, I found the coffee. Four or five readings in, I got it. Yeah, five readings in, I got the coffee. <laughs> okay, so I feel like some of you, you're just, you're just not going to do this. I'm going to put these cards back and see if you guys have any new love coming in. Since you're closing the door on this, let's see what the universe is going to reward you with. Please, nobody be a hater and get mad. I just feel bad because Cancer always gets a raw deal. Seems like Cancer, you always get weird readings, and I feel bad. All right, let's see. Please, just just Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. From now moving forward, in the in the near future, do they have anybody new coming in that's going to be good for them? That's substantial. That's like anything important. And for those of them, for those Cancers out there that want to know if an X is coming back, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Will there be exes coming back other than the ones that we just talked about? Jackpot. Yes, you do. You have an earth sign coming in that's financially stable. You do. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, man or woman. They bring a lot to the table. Might not just be finances, but it may be in other areas. Either you're going to be moving in with them or they're going to be moving in with you. That's coming up maybe in the next three weeks to three months. This is a timeless reading, so this can be at any time, but, you know... Spirit wants you guys to know. Also, there is an ex that is coming back. Let me see who. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. 
Somebody that you don't want to hear from. Probably one of the crazies. So now let's move on to Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. For the collective, timeless, love and romance. Who's coming in? Who's coming back? What's going on? Okay, we got the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, somebody who's out of town doesn't want to communicate with you or you don't want to communicate with them. Some of you are dating online or you're dating people out of town, new people. Um, expect to hear from a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius man or woman with some good news or you guys will be happy about this. Yeah, there's some news of travel. Travel, two travel cards. This one and this one. Um, this one is kind of, but not really. Let me see. Yeah, somebody's going back, returning to the scene of the crime is what I'm hearing, returning to the spot. Page of Swords, returning. Um, somebody's going to be telling you that they're returning somewhere. Somebody's returning. There's less of a struggle. They can do it now safely. Signing a contract. Okay, this could be a fellow Leo. This could be a Leo. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, so we pretty much have all the elements here except for Earth. I do feel like some of you, there could be a struggle in someone trying to keep an eye on you, keep tabs on you. Maybe you're not at the same place you were. Maybe you're not there anymore or they don't have access to you like they used to. Maybe somebody thought that they could just keep you on ice for a while, but you, you're already moving on. Be careful, Maxi Poo. Um, but you guys have already moved on. You're already moving on. I also see that um, somebody has to watch the way that they're talking to you. I feel like, Leo, you do have new people coming in, but it's like they do one little thing and you're going to be triggered. You're going to be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm, I'm not putting up with the same crap I dealt with for my exes. I'm not doing that. I, I had years of suffering. I'm not doing it again. I'm just not going to do this again. Come over here. No, no, go the other way. No, please don't do that. Come this way. Come this way. Over here. Oh, are you okay? Here. So yeah, so some, some of you are just not putting up with the garbage anymore. You're just not going to do it. All right, um, my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. All right, everyone, have a great day. I'm going to do part two now. Feel free to timestamp if you'd like. JamieZebra23.com. Hi, JamieZebra23. Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you... Um, where to make a purchase, jamieziever23.com. It tells you about the same day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus, I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamieziever23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video, and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds, and also the description box says it too. jamieziever23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jimmy Zebra 23 so I have a fans-only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 ta-ta for now.